Craig. You can blame it on the tag or the disrespect. Before you play, better button check. Button check. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to yet again a beautiful week, a full week of checking these damn buttons, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you enjoyed your weekend, man. There was so much hype. Not only in the FGC, but the UFC. Did y'all see that card? Oh my god, it was like one, it was like the most amazing card ever. Fans were back, the hypes were back, the knock, the knockouts, the injuries. Anyway, we're talking too much about that. Let's bring it back to the FGC. As you can tell, my voice sounds different because I was screaming way too much. A lot of hype. So without further ado, we definitely got the hot topics, we got the hot clips. The chapters are down below. Feel free to skip around. Ladies and gents, without further ado, welcome back. Let's go. All right, so usually this is where we insert the hot clips, but this is the hot clip for today because I want to introduce to you a brand new gaming company. They got desks and chairs and all that stuff that we teamed up with. Ladies and gents, they reached out. We made it happen. Give it up for E-Win. E-Win racing chairs. They got the desk. They got it all. I'm putting the information on the screen. They gave me this one. This I looked at this. I said, yo, that chair is top of the line. May I have that one, please? And of course, it's easy to remember the name. It's E-Win. And it makes sense because E loses, which just sounds stupid. All right, so this is what's up with this chair and what's going on right now. I'll continue to put the information on the screen. Not only do they have like amazing prices. Dude, I was seeing them like under a hundred bucks. They have like crazy uh, low prices right now. The thing that also caught me as well is you could actually size it to your size, to your weight, to your preference. You know what I'm saying? Like you could pick one out to make sure that it's going to fit because they're like, yo, we believe that one size does not fit all so you can customize it. And the reason why I picked this one is because it was like one of the most expensive ones they had. And I said, hey, could I have that one? And they said, yes. And I said, thank you. But the other reason why I chose it is because it just looked like legit as hell. I'm not going to lie. Like Everything is cool. Like it's almost like it has all the standard features that you would see normally, but it also adds like one or two more. Like you know, like the handles usually kind of go like up and down. Well, these not only do that, but they go forward and backward, and they go in and out. And underneath the seat, you know how there's always like one lever, so you can go like up and down. You know what I'm saying? But there's another lever on the other side that actually permits you to like rock. So let's say like you know this one reclines all the way back, but let's say I'm all the way up like right here, right? So I'm pretty much just staying right here. But if I hit this lever, I could rock. So all of a sudden it becomes like a rocking chair and there's a swivel underneath that like tightens up or loosens up everything. And apparently it's like, has this like stainless, I was gonna say stainless steel. It has like this anti-stain like material on the leather so you could wipe it and clean it no matter how many times and it's still not gonna fade. So one more time, ladies and gents, Ewin, check them out. Of course, links are in the description field. Big up to everybody at Ewin for providing this amazing chair. Also for the viewers, 20% off, 20% on top of the low prices that some of them already have. So definitely check it out. Also, we working on some future stuff. So I hope I could do some like giveaways like we have in the past. So we working on some stuff, more stuff for you guys, but definitely so far so good. Check out the links. All right, and now into the next set of buttons that need to be checked. This one pops off in the world of Street Fighter V. This is dope to me anyway. This is the first time I've ever seen somebody pull off a combo in a taunt like at the same time. Like literally mixed in the tea bags with the combo, like it was a part of it. Now I'm not saying it doesn't exist, some of y'all might have seen something similar in a different game, but this is the first time I've seen something like that in Street Fighter V. So anyway, Xian uh, pulls this combo off, I think it was like six days ago. Now hold on, is it Xian or is it Xian? Because I hear people say it like two different ways sometimes. I would say Xian, so anyway, you know what the hell I mean. So anyway, pulls this off, posted this saying, this optimized combo is for Punk, check out the clip. <laughs> so the hilarious thing here, is ah, he's actually is you. You know, saying punk this is for ah, you is as for he's you. busting it Ooh. punk this is for you punk this is for you then about three days after that, Punk gets a hold of it, posts this saying, I pulled off Xian's optimal combo in a real match today. Thank you. I wouldn't have been able to kill here without you. Let's check it out. This so did the shimmy, got him in the corner. Okay, feisty. Doing the tea bag. Activates the super kills, that's what's oh! up. I mean, basically just duplicated it perfect, right? Okay, feisty. Oh! Not only that, but if you notice, he was playing a Ryu, right? But it wasn't any ordinary Ryu, it was the homie Mugetsu. We've talked about him, I think, basically within the last couple of weeks on this channel as well, been a real 
a uh, good homie of the show. Dude is really on the grind as far as like YouTube and uh, Twitch on his uh, stream. Definitely show him some love. Like honestly, I see this dude like grinding his ass off when it comes to streaming and you know, starting to create more and more content. But anyway, so he talks about this on his side so it gets a little deeper because on his page, he basically says, you know, how to get better or training 101, something to that effect. Post a video clip of it as well. Okay, Feisty. Some damage back. Nah, I was surprised by his um, quick reflexes, though, his reactions. So as you can see, I won't play at all. I think y'all should definitely click on it. That way you know you can click on his page and show him the love because he definitely deserves it. But anyway, it definitely goes more in depth because he talks about how he was feeling when Punk was doing it, what he was thinking. He actually got some rounds off of Punk, how we thought he could actually get some matches off of Punk. And you know, other people start like coaching him. I know like the homie uh, Grand Totokai came in and was asking. And what I like, he was very humble about it, basically just saying, I'm just trying to get better. So all in all, I think it's more in depth on that side because you get to see his point of view when he was like, the world all saw this, but they didn't see anything that I was doing or I was thinking or that I was going through. That one is, ladies and gents, definitely let me know how you feel it. Thank you guys for watching today. Hope you enjoyed it, man. Big up one more time to the good people at eWin for gifting us here at Button Check with the amazing gaming chair. They have other products too, so definitely check them out for the discounts and the promo code and all that. I wanna give a special shout out before we get out of here to Jonas Magana, if I'm saying that correctly, posted this literally just the other day saying, uh, at myself, just out here in the North Bay, checking those buttons, my dude. Looks like he has that pink button check hoodie. That's what's up. I actually got the pink one, but it's the long sleeve, not the hoodie. I love that pink flavor. I just said I love that pink flavor. That could be taken a lot of ways, but... Anyway, on top of that, before this gets more ridiculous, y'all saw the UFC fights that went on. I know a lot of you probably did. It was amazing, right? Well, there was one tragic incident where these dudes like kick legs, and literally as they kick legs, the dude's leg just like cracked in half. Like, it was crazy. So anyway, I guess apparently Broly Legs saw that as well, made this comment saying, I'm changing my origin story to I was not born disabled, but mofos were checking my legs. <laughs> at birth that's what's up i love broly man because he's always making like funny ass comments like this all the time there you have it one more again thank you guys for all the amazing love we'll see you soon if not tomorrow definitely the next day love y'all forever peace blah 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 subscribe so, you can so remember the name it's e win of course you can remember that e easy because it's e i'm e and i win just <laughs> it's easy it's one two three e ernesto wins I win sometimes. I win sometimes. I do.